So, hi, my name is Mauricio. In this video, I will talk, I would like to show you how to install everything that you need as, um, in Windows in order to begin writing documents in LaTeX. Therefore, we will need as, uh, um, first a MicTeX uh, distribution and an editor. And uh, I will show you how to um, install the editor TextMaker, which is the one uh, that I prefer. First, you need to go to the internet and then uh, search for the MicTeX distribution. So go to that page and here go to download. In this case, um, you can, well, de depending on the system that you have, this is a, you, uh, if you have a 32-bit system, so, then you can download this uh, installer. Otherwise, just uh, go to the other downloads. And for example, here's a, um, the downloader for the 64-bit uh, system. In my case, I need that one. And after that, when you have downloaded that, so then you need the um, editor that we are going to use. Um, yeah, the, well, the one that I prefer uh, personally is a TextMaker editor. Uh, yes, and here you go to download and um, TextMaker for Windows, and here only that one. Just download those two files, and I'll come back to the Windows are downloaded, and I will show you how to install it. Okay, so after having downloaded all um, these two files, uh, the make text dis distribution and the text maker editor, you first have to install the make text distribution. No, oh, sorry. Um, okay. Yes, then, uh, well, as for every other program, you accept the conditions, go install it for everybody, and just share it with everybody in your computer. Do the normal part. Uh, here you can choose if you want to always use A4 paper or something else. So for myself, as A4 paper is fine. And this option, installing missing packages on the fly. Per default, you have here the option that asks me first. I would recommend you to do here, yes. So, of course, it's, it's your choice. But um, the thing is that uh, sometimes you will need some more um, exotic packages uh, while you're working on something. And in that case, you would have to go and go to the project, um, to the package manage um, system, and go there and install that stuff. And that may be for some, for some of you annoying. Uh, it's not that complicated, but if you put here yes, it's a most, I think not all of them, but most of the packages it will be installed immediately as you are working on something. That means that, that uh, within your new LaTeX document, if you need some package that is not has not been installed and you call that package within the document, then while compiling, uh, the package is going to be downloaded, it's going to be installed, and you will be uh, will be able to continue working without uh, searching for that package. So, from my personal point of view, I would here recommend you to put uh, yes. Okay. So, continue and start the installation. Um, well, I think this takes a while, so I will come back uh, when this is finished. Okay. This is finished. Uh, continue. It's complete. Closed. And now we can install the TextMaker editor. Um, and here, I agree, install. This should be actually quite fast. Okay, close. And uh, you should have now actually this icon uh, for the TextMaker editor. But if you don't have it, just go and search it. You can open it up. And this is the editor. Here you have um, several areas, and this area is the structure area, where you can see the structure of the code of the document that you are working on. This is uh, the area for the code where you write uh, everything. And the code uh, written here is after that compiled, and then you obtain a PDF with the document that you uh, want to have at the very end. 
here. Um, first, I would like to show you how to create a very sh short test document in order to see if everything works fine. First, we're going to create a new document. Oh, oh, oh uh, one very first thing, so before I forget this, is, um, uh, maybe you would like to also have the, the, <coughs> the editor in your own language, I don't know, German, Spanish, Italian, whatever uh, your language is. If you go to Options and go to Interface, Face uh, language, then you have all these languages. I don't know if your language is uh, here, but uh, you can choose whatever you have, well, what you prefer out of this list, and then see if you are fine with that. For example, this one is German. Okay. And yeah, we want to create a first document in order to test everything. This is uh, for a new document. Here you write the code, uh, which if this code is compiled, then you obtain at the end the PDF that you want. At the very first, you want you have to uh, say um, declare what kind of document you want to create. Do you, do you want to write an article? Do you, do you want to write a book, a report, whatever you need here? And this is done with the uh, command document class. And here, um, TextMerkey gives you also a, um, automatic completion depending on what you write. And here document class, uh, we do not need any options which go in this in those brackets and within these brackets you write for example article and with that I'm telling a uh, I'm saying a I want to write an article and everything that goes between an end document which is uh, now on automatically complete uh, by TextMaker is uh, everything between begin document and end document is what you actually write in your document. For example, test. Okay. In order to compile this code, those uh, this bunch of commands, so we have to do that. Uh, well, in the very first thing is it's that we have to um, save this file. I'm going to create a new folder um, test document within that I'm going to my file is going to have the name test it's a text file okay and I would like also to show you where I'm doing all this thing this is the folder and this is this is the latex document that I'm working on the, this is in this file you have the code which is needed in order to create the document okay how do we do that or uh, for that, you need to uh, to compile everything. And if you go to Options, Configure Text Maker, and go to Quick Build, here you have the uh, several options for the command Quick Build. Either with Quick Build, Quick Build, you do that, that, or if you want to do, for example, that, 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 and that. What are these? These are commands, which are which it's a procedure of commands, so which are um, carried out while compiling. Here, I want to create from my LaTeX code, I want to create a PDF, and after that, I want to take a look at the PDF. This is the command view PDF. And uh, this is the default at the beginning, as a, and this is fine for now. So, so uh, later on, you will need, this is, um, I think, usually that one. Uh, but uh, with PDF LaTeX, we are fine until now. I'm going to close this. And the quick build is um, can be uh, used here if you click now here in quick build or if you press F1, then you go through that and the code is compiled and at the end you get to see the PDF that was created. I'm going to put in the whole page and ta-da! Here you see test and this is our first page and going to the uh, work folder here you see our LaTeX document where the code is. Those are all our files that are needed uh, or are created while compiling. And this is our PDF which was created. Okay. Um, I will uh, show just, I think, uh, three things as now that are maybe important at the beginning. So, uh, some, uh, some people also like to have the PDF as well within the main window. This can be done with the PDF viewer of uh, TextMaker if you embed exactly this viewer within the window. This is done with uh, by checking this box. If you do that, you get here 
an extra button which is called PDF Viewer and you get this area and if I compile my code again, F1, mm -hmm. I get what? Again, I get to see is uh, exactly the, the PDF uh, right there. And this is actually very useful because so then you can work in, in the code and see what is going to be the result of, of that so within the PDF. And for a lot of people, this is very, very useful. And if you want, you can make it bigger, smaller, depending on what you want. Um, I personally don't like this, um, but this is, uh, well, it depends on you. Um, I like it more so to have more space uh, for the code which I am working on and taking a look at the PDF is in a separate window. And the second thing that I want to show you here is a very useful thing, this is especially when you're working in a very, very long document. I don't know if you have something 100 or 200 pages and your code is uh, three or 4,000 lines. Is that? And if you are taking a look at the PDF and you would like to go exactly to the line in the code, which was uh, created in order to, to build up the PDF. So if you take a look at the PDF within the, of the, within the PDF viewer of TextMaker and you go there and do now right click, you get those options. And this one is fantastic. This is a click to jump to the line. You can also do just con uh, control and click on the, on the spot. And if you do that, if you, and if you go back to the code, you will be more or less, as I said, um, depending on how accurate you click on the on the spot, to the line in the code uh, from which uh, um, this uh, originated. In order to be clear, I'm going to put that now there. Okay, I am right there with the cursor, and now I'm going to do Control and click on that, and I go back. And my cursor is now here. Okay. As I said, so for a very long document with a lot of code, that is very very useful. And uh, the last thing that I would I would like to mention to you, oh, well, two things, sorry, are more or less important. Um, here, this code here is encoded with uh, with this uh, format. If you want, for some reasons, uh, if you work with other people, uh, it is very important that everybody use the same coding. In order to, con uh, to configure that, so if you go here to uh, Options, Configure Text Maker, uh, and then the Editor, here you can choose what kind of coding you are going to use. Um, some prefer UTF-8, uh, others ISO, uh, depends on what you prefer or what you need okay uh, but that's the place where you can uh, change that the other thing that is also very very important is that um while you're writing as so maybe you want to uh, check also the spelling and here uh, within um, text maker so you have the option here uh, to embed also or use also a dictionary here i'm using uh, um, american english and if you want to change that go there and there you have a lot of languages. A, well, of course, not all. This is, I don't know if your language is uh, uh, within this list, but um, that's what you can use until now. Maybe you can go to the internet and also search for the um, dictionaries which are uh, which you need for your language. Okay, but that's where also you change that. And if you change that, then uh, the spelling I'm going to drive. I don't know. For example, there I want to write blue, and for that, it's okay. If I write that, hey, they are telling me, hey, something's wrong here. Okay, that's also very, very useful from the very, very beginning. Okay, so uh, that would be for this video. I'm, uh, I hope it was not uh, too long, and I hope I could help you with this. Uh, so for the very beginning, um, for the. For the rest, is, I think is that is, uh, there are a lot, a lot of videos is, in the internet where uh, a lot of people have done a lot um, wonderful work, is, and they will show you a lot of uh, different commands in order to uh, get started with Latex. I think is, I will also do is, is a very short video for uh, creating a, a book or a thesis is, uh, where you can also take
take a look at that. This is about only to show you what are the basic elements for that is. So, so LaTeX has a so, gigantic amount of um, options uh, and commands. So, so I would just like to show you the, the very basic elements. So, so and the rest is up to you where to search for help. So, so and always go and uh, ask questions in the internet. So there are millions of people who have uh, asked a lot of questions and usually when you type the question you will already get a forum with uh, where this question has been solved already. Okay, so um, then at the end I just have to say so thank you for your attention and well, bye.